Starting next week, uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will visit the White House and uh, have a meeting with U.S. President uh, Barack Obama. In the same meeting, he will also entertain uh, Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. Both leaders will be visiting the president in order to talk about the framework uh, negotiations that are still uh, hotly debated. Of course, the rumor that uh, Mahmoud Abbas and the Fatah organization were willing to recognize Israel as a Jewish state uh, did turn out to be a rumor. And the framework does indeed continue to uh, have that as one of the main staples of the agreement. And of course, Mr. Abbas considers it absurd that that would be uh, part of the agreement. But Israel has a good point. They indicated that if they are to recognize Palestine uh, as a Palestinian state, which they will do, that uh, the Palestinians must recognize that Israel is a Jewish state. Now, frankly, I think in time that will probably either be watered down or eliminated altogether, as I've said many times, though neither Egypt nor Jordan have recognized Israel as a Jewish state, and they both have longstanding uh, peace accords. So even though the United States is willing to consider that in the peace agreement, I think in time it probably will be eliminated and uh, it might be in exchange for the right of return, or at least a minimized right of return. Now some are speculating that uh, President Barack Obama has brought these two men to the White House because he intends to roll out the much anticipated framework document. But it's being re re reported by the Jerusalem Post that that's highly unlikely that will take place. But anything could happen and it would be quite a surprise if in fact there were uh, talks of bringing that uh, to both men. Now one thing I do want to point out and that is that uh, Daniel 9.27 does say that when the Antichrist does bring forth his peace accord, he will confirm it and make it strong. You know, there could come a time in which the United States does say, listen, the West Bank, and this is the amount of area that we're going to give you for a Palestinian state, and this is what we're giving you for uh, your capital, and you're going to have to live with it. Now, whether that day will ever come, I don't know. But in some sense, I do believe at some point in time that, that may come about in which um, somebody makes a decision and makes it strong and confirms the covenant and it simply may not be a covenant that both agree on and frankly I question whether or not this will come to the point where both there will come and there will be an agreement in which both will actually be satisfied with the agreements that they are about to make so it would not be surprising to me at all if in fact whoever this antichrist turns out to be that he just indicates, hey, listen, Israel, this is what you get, and Palestine, this is what you get. And if you don't agree, we're going to make life rough for both parties, or at least for whoever is the problem of this agreement. And, of course, we know that every time that Israel has got into some type of agreement, they've always seemed to be uh, pointed out as the problem. Let's face it, this is simply a biased world when it comes to Israel. So in closing, I just want to say that you probably need to keep an eye on what's going on and what comes of this meeting because I think it very well could have impact that uh, uh, we may not see coming. And we may be coming to the point in which Daniel 9.27 actually does come to pass in which the peace accord is confirmed and made strong, whether either side likes it or not. So the U.S. may be getting just a little bit tired of all the unproductive back and forth that's going on between Israel and the Palestinians. Of course, Israel wouldn't mind just going on with this back and forth forever because they simply like the status quo, and I don't blame them. But the Bible does say at some point in time, peace will come. And, you know, I want to close with one thing, and that is uh, about my book. You know, I created the uh, Tribulation Period Survival Guide, a free version, an e-book, because I wanted to make sure that there is a source in which people can get saved and learn how to live through the tribulation period once Christians have been raptured. I was compelled to also create the same book in a book form because I wanted Christians to buy this book and hand it to their unsaved loved ones. It was also a, a way in which they could leave this book behind and have it in every home. Uh, I'd like to see it in every home, in uh, a Christian home in America. So that when their unsaved loved ones come and uh, 
uh, look over their property, or whatever the case may be, they'd find this book. So the whole purpose of a paperback tribulation period survival guide is to get it in the hands of your lost loved ones. Uh, I know people right now, even in my church, who have said, "Listen, I have talked to my my family about coming to the Lord, and they simply will not listen." Well, I've always said that if you can't get someone to listen, at least give them something that will be a plan B. And I think that this book is simply a great option for plan B. And whether or not you believe that uh, someone who's heard the gospel can uh, receive Jesus after the tribulation period begins, uh, I wouldn't let that keep you from getting a copy of this book because we simply don't know. You know, I've, I've, I've seen a panel of, and done my own research as well, uh, but I've seen a, a panel of, of 15 um, prophecy experts, and not all of them agree that after the rapture church takes place, that when the tribulation period starts, that uh, if you've heard the gospel, that you would not be able to uh, receive the Lord. In fact, most of them believe that there would be an opportunity to uh, receive the Lord after the tribulation period starts. So don't let that be a determined a determination whether or not you get a copy of this book and give it to your loved ones. Because that's still not a confirmed theory. And frankly, I let the Lord sort that out once the tribulation period begins. And again, if you've not accepted Jesus as your Savior, you know that your your time is running out. Today is the day of salvation. You put it off and you very well uh, could die in your sins or you could be left behind to face the most horrible time period this world's ever known. Well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.